So this is a Buccaneer cutter, going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. Front of the van you've got your hitch, jockey wheel and handbrake. In the front of the van you've got your gas regulator and your two gas pipes coming off the bottle. You've got your two gas bottle tie downs in the front locker and you can carry a maximum of two 6 kilogram propane gas bottles on board the van at any point. And you will need to use propane for this particular system as it has an Audi heating system on board the van. The, the legs will demonstrate what you hear on site, how they work. You've got your Audi heating flue for the hot water systems on board the So like I said, the Audi heating flue here is essentially the gas flue for the heating and hot water systems. The water pump connection, very simple to use. You'll connect the water pump straight into the side of the van and drop the pump into the bottom of the act roll itself. You've got a, a shower head hose here, so you can run water out of the van um, through a shower attachment if you have one. You've got your battery locker with your, we've just put a battery on the floor for now to demonstrate the legs. Um, but your battery would be in the box normally tied down or tied in with the strap in the bottom of the locker there. You've got your mains power lead coming into the caravan and you've also got your motor mover power switch in there that will demonstrate while you're here on site. Two fridge vents are essentially allowed to, to allow the hot air out the back of the fridge unit um, and the gas flue in the top here is for when the systems are running on gas. Wheel nuts will talk while, the, while you're here on site, so you can see they've been talked correctly, um, and they'll be talked to the recommended manufacturer's sp uh, setting. You've got your two grey waste pipes coming out the side of the caravan, so your fresh water that goes in the front has to come out somewhere, and they'll come out through these two grey pipes on the side of the van, through the larger diameter, uh, or you'll put your grey pipe into the large diameter holes on the outside. Coming to the back of the van, you have your toilet waste tank itself. Now, the toilet waste tank removes by pulling up the orange handle and pulling the cassette towards you. The neck here turns out so you can tip the waste away. And then you've got an orange pressure relief button on the back of the cassette, so when you are tipping the waste away, it doesn't spit and splatter back at you. You'd need to put in this tank one litre of water and a capful of the blue fluid prior to use. As I said, the, wind, uh, the, man, uh, the automatic legs will demonstrate to you while you're here on site and we'll show you them operating from the battery system. Got your storage locker on the side of the van, to, uh, which goes underneath the bed at the rear of the van so you can store any items in there you wish to. Then got another storage locker for at the front of the van, underneath the front seating area. And you've got your barbecue gas points also at the front of the van. Going on to the inside of the van. First of all, you're going to need to turn on the master power for the caravan, which is on this switch here with the star on it. You've got your internal lighting on the switch next to it. You've then also got your main power switch for the water pump, internal lighting, and your external lights for the outside of the caravan. You've got your voltmeter for the, volt, uh, for the battery charger on board the van, and the water level of the onboard tank. First thing you're going to need to do is, when you come inside the caravan, go underneath the seat, on the front right hand side and you're going to need to make sure the yellow drain down valve which is that yellow valve there is parallel with the floor if that valve is pointing upright towards the bottom of the seat then all of the water that you put into the caravan will drain, drain straight back onto the floor underneath the van so to fill the system like i said that yellow valve needs to be parallel with the floor you'll come over to every tap on board the caravan and open all the taps up on the hot side of the water heating. You'll actually notice the water system's already been filled on this van. There's a little bit of air in the system, hence why it's not come on straight away. But you'll open all the taps up on the hot side. So there's the tap in the kitchen, the tap in the bathroom, and the tap on the shower. At that point, you'll then be able to come over to the water pump controls over on the uh, control panel just here. You'll need to turn this pump on, you'll need to turn this switch on here then put it onto internal, or sorry, external, sorry. So you'll run it on the external side of the water heating, uh, the water pump here, and it will start filling the uh, water system via the hot water tank, not the onboard water tank. If you want to fill the onboard water tank, you'll need to open the taps up in the same way, turn on the control on this side, and then flick the pump to internal at the top here, and that'll fill the onboard water tank in the back of the caravan. Once you've got water running continuously out of every tap on board the caravan, at the moment it's still, there we go, running continuously out of every tap on board the caravan, you can shut all of the taps back off. What you can do at that point is, is you can start warming the water on board the caravan. So you come to the control panel by the door, press the menu button, and at the top here, you've got your internal room temperature. So you've got plus, 
or minus to control the water temperature, uh, the internal temperature of the caravan. Below that, you've got your water heating. So you've got water heating on when the bar's half full. And then when it's completely full, you've got water boost. So that's a bit like, that's when you're showering on board the van. Water off, this bar will be completely empty. Next up, we've got the power supply that's coming into the caravan from the caravan site you're on. So you've got one, two, or three kilowatts available. Here on site, we can only run one kilowatt. So that's what we're going to set it to. The only way you'd know what, what you can run your heating and hot water on is by asking the site office when you arrive on site. You can run the gas system, you can run the heating and hot water on gas by pressing the gas option here at the bottom as long as you've got a gas bottle connected and it is turned on. So that is the very basics of the heating and hot water system. In here, if you read the manual for the caravan, which we do advise you do for setting control panels, etc., you would need to go into this control panel and that would essentially then start running uh, and you'd start be able to running um, timers for your heating and hot water, etc. But please do read the manual for that. If I try to explain it in the video, it'd probably take me around two to three hours to complete the video. Going over to the fridge, very simple to use. You've got a power button on the front of the fridge. At the moment, you can see we're on mains power. So we've got mains power coming into the caravan and we're gonna go control the temperature of the fridge on the button on the right hand side. If we want to use gas, we can press the gas option just here. As long as the gas is turned on again and you've bled the hob, so you'd need to come over to the hob first and ignite the hob on gas. The fridge will self-ignite on gas as long as you've got it on the gas option on the front. Again on gas, you'll control the temperature of the fridge on the button on the right hand side. If it fails to ignite on gas, it'll actually flash the blue light behind here and the red warning light on the opposite end. If you want to use 12 volt as a power source, for when you're towing down the road so essentially the fridge will work as a cool box to get maybe the G&T or the the wine nice and cold um, then you'd need to put the fridge onto 12 volt mode once you're connected to the car and like I said it'll allow the fridge to work as a cool box the temperature control at that point will be completely irrelevant it will not do anything it is just a cool box while you're traveling down the road um, and it will just chill things rather than freeze things with the freezer box at the top and completely and completely chill things Cooker, works very much like your household cooker, electric run on the back as you'd expect to see, three gas rings, and then you've got your grill and oven below. To drain down the onboard water tank, very simple to do. You've got a blue valve here, a bit like the yellow one in the front, and you'll need to open that valve up so it drains all of the water off the system on board the caravan. For now, I'll leave that filled so you can see it working while you're here on site. Microwave on board the caravan is actually an eco microwave. So you've got an eco button on the front here that you'll need to press to wake the microwave up as it will turn itself off in between uses um, and go into a standby mode. So like I said, that's now turned on and the microwave does work as you can see. The bed, as you can also see, lift for your convenience so you can store bits and pieces underneath there. When it is upright, I wouldn't travel with it in that position. You do need to make sure it's completely down when you do travel down the road. Coming into the bathroom, uh, coming into the bathroom, and one of the last parts we're going to go on board on board, uh, demonstrate on board the van. You've got an electric flush with the toilet system that works off the water system on board. You've got a full indicator light for your toilet waste cassette. So when that waste cassette is full, it'll actually illuminate red. The toilet seat does turn for your convenience, as you can see. However, when you are removing the toilet cassette from call it toilet cassette from under the van, you do need to make sure the toilet seat is pointing straight across towards the shower on the other side of the van. At the bottom of the toilet system here, you have a grey waste handle which you need to push open to allow the toilet waste to go in the cassette underneath the van. You will need to open that before use and I do advise you shut it after use. The radiator in the bathroom will hold a lot of heat so please do be careful on there. Make sure um, you let it cool down before you touch it at all if you do turn the heating off or if it is on please be very wary of the amount of heat they put out. So this is the Buccaneer Cutter. Thank you very much for watching. We hope the, the video has been of some help. If you have any further questions on the caravan, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the Caravan Company and we'd be more than happy to help. We thank you for the business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon when you collect the caravan. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.